everybody, it's Robert Lackey from Bison Track here. I'm here at Motorsports Ranch in Crescent, Texas. We're finishing up an amazing track day weekend. We were here with 316 track days, it was awesome. So big shout out to 316 track days. Ignacio and the crew, they put on an amazing event as always. We wanna support the businesses that were born out of the passion for motorcycles, just as Bison was. And uh, I'm getting ready to load everything up here. We're gonna put the bike in the rig and I want to show you what I use. Speaking of amazing products and great businesses that were born out of a passion for motorcycles, this is a wheel dock. And uh, I want to show this because this is built in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Bison was born in Oklahoma City. So uh, it's only appropriate and fitting that we use this to haul Rhode Island Red here. So I want to show you how this thing works. It's really, really cool. First of all, I don't bolt this thing down in the RV. So that way I can move it between the RV and the pickup bed. So if I want to haul it in the Ranger, I just throw this in there as it sits and put the bike in. So check this out. So I'm just going to roll the front tire up over the top. Now on this side, Tosh, if you want to come around, there's a pedal here. You can keep this pedal on or you can just kick this up. But the great thing about this pedal is if you're on the bike, you just touch it with your toe and a hydraulic ram locks the bike into place. So I'm off the bike. It is very secure and it's not bolted to anything. This is a great product, guys. I know that um, everybody swears by the, the trailer restraints that are on the market. Wheel dock is way underrated and I just feel like people don't know about it. Since I've had this thing, it's made my life so much easier. I haven't had to drill any holes in the floor of my new rig. I haven't had to drill anything in the pickup. I just move this thing, put it in place, and strap it down with a couple straps. I don't have to worry about blowing fork seals by over strapping this thing down, over torquing it. The wheel dock does 90% of the work. And the cool thing is too, in the pits, you can just put it in the wheel dock and walk away from it. And it makes a cool display too. Now to put it down, put your foot on it, push it down, it locks in place, and the bike comes right out. So similar wheel chocks to this where they have the the uh, inertia base or, or the weight based chalk that flips up and grabs the tire, they can really lock these slicks. You know, the slicks will stick to the chalk. But with this one, because the ram is holding it, you don't have to worry about trying to shake it out of the chalk. The, the, the ram does all the work, the tire comes right out when you're ready. All right guys, so the wheel dock, is a great Oklahoma company, just like Bison. Highly recommend the product. If you go to wheeldock.com, that's wheel, D-O-C-K.com, you can see their website. You can also call them, the number's right here on the stand. It's 743-8080. They also make center stands for Harleys. They can make this front stand for lots of different bikes. It actually started as a, uh, a bagger company. So these are made to hold uh, some much bigger bikes than this SV. This is a piece of cake for it. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned. We'll have more great products from uh, great companies born of passion, just like Bison. Thanks for watching guys.